What's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to be looking at exactly what happened in the stock market today and some of the best setups and most important news going into tomorrow. Tom, I'll tell you, some stocks just really crushed it today, especially Intel. This stock is actually on pace for its best month in 22 years. The stock is just soaring to the upside. It's up nearly 8% today. So, you know, we're definitely going to cover this one. And also, towards the end of the video, we have a $1.2 million trade you guys won't want to miss. So make sure to stick with us all the way towards the end. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Yeah, I will say, Mike, the SPY actually broke out this morning in a huge, huge way above that key trend line that we were watching over the past few days. And we actually ended up getting up above $400 at the end of the day. I could not believe that we ended up having that big support break after all the bad news with banks and everything like that that we've been having come in lately. But a lot of the tech stocks in the market today obviously kept us very, very high. If we go down here, the chip stocks had a very nice day. Intel, like you said, led the way, and Micron killed it last night in after hours. Ended up going up 7% with those earnings. Apple had a good day. NVIDIA was in the green. Now, we did have some healthcare stocks kind of just do whatever, but the banks were recovering. Even energy plays and Amazon kept going. So very nice day in the market overall. I'll take the positive movement back up. And it's very nice to see a lot of these continuations starting to happen here, especially out of some of these bigger stocks like Apple, Microsoft, and Tesla, which had amazing days. It seems like Tesla might be trying to go retest $200 here in the short term. Uh-oh. Yeah, and speaking of like major levels, SPY, you know, it just ripped right above that $400 resistance. Initially, it struggled uh, earlier in the day, but, you know, as we got closer to market close, it just ripped right through it. And I'll tell you, like, there was a, a lot of strength today. Yeah, there was. It was insane to see the market come in and be that positive and there wasn't really necessarily like one big piece of information or anything like that that came out that really surprised anything i think it was just a lot of stocks starting to come back up off of the recent dip like for example if we go look at apple or nvidia or amd or any of these big tech stocks over the past five trading days or so they've all been kind of consolidating here and just like waiting for a push back up and it was just finally a nice breakout back to the upside there and we got some nice support bounces and what i really like to see is if we go to the daily chart of the spy uh we can actually see that there's a very nice bounce going on that long-term trend line and i would say that today with this movement back up it's almost like a nice confirmation that we might go on a nice uptrend at least maybe up to 407 or 408 over the next week or so uh, obviously nothing set in stone something could always change if some crazy news comes out but I love that bounce off this trend line. It's been crucial over the past couple of years. Yeah, and looking at SPY, what would you say are like the main levels to watch for, you know, that might stop a potential uptrend? Yeah, so obviously $400 is huge, but last week we actually broke above 400 and got all the way up to 402, which was a very big level up there at those highs. Honestly, I'm going to watch those highs around 402 to 40250. If we can start to break out above that high, I think that that could be even more of a run come over the next few days, but we could end up slowing down right there. If we don't slow down there, I think that we're pretty good up to 407 or 406, 405, somewhere up in that range, maybe get a nice three-point jump at least. But that is a big resistance. The big thought that I keep having though is that Last week, we actually had a lot of volatility with the FOMC meeting and Powell. That's part of what pushed us up through there, and that's also what made it fake out. So I'm kind of thinking that this time, we might not get that big fake out because we don't have as crazy of an event, although we do have GDP numbers tomorrow. Yeah, so tell us more. What are the main events for tomorrow? Yeah, we're actually going to have those GDP numbers early tomorrow morning around uh, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, one hour before the market opens. GDP growth rate quarter over quarter. Be on the lookout for these numbers. It should end up being pretty big, Mike. And looking at the numbers here every quarter, you know, it looks like they're expecting us to come in around 2.7%. Last time we were at 3.2%. So that's going to show a bit of a decline there if it comes in as expected. But, you know, 
with the way the market's been, who knows? It might come in and miss expectations. So we'll have to see what happens, but uh, it's going to be a crazy event. That's going to be a big thing one hour before market open. So keep it on the radar and it could affect SPY in a pretty big way, right? As we're at this big resistance level. All righty. Well, with that being said, I want to talk about some setups for tomorrow. Um, over the past day or so, earnings has been pretty influential. Um, as you talked about in the beginning of the video, we had Micron, ticker symbol MU, blast to the upside. We can see they reported uh, yesterday and after hours. And, you know, going throughout the rest of the week, there's not really too many crazy earnings. But uh, MU really set the tone, not only for MU, of course, but also Intel, you know, and how the stock is, you know, ripping to the upside. But what's also worth noting is that, you know, a lot of times, like, even though there are not a ton of other earnings releases coming out throughout the rest of the week, that does not mean there is no opportunity to trade off of earnings. For example, a stock I'm watching pretty closely is CCL, Carnival Cruise Lines. This stock actually reported earnings earlier this week, and now they're just continuing to run up off of that. So I'm looking at CCL to the upside over the next couple days. Uh, they're in like a, I guess you could say a post earnings uh, continuation setup. And, you know, the, the price action has been really good over the past week. And, uh, you know, it definitely has a lot of momentum to the upside. It really does. That's a very nice earnings continuation. I actually got worried about CCL because they fell back down after reporting those earnings after initially rising early that morning. And then the, the past couple of days, they've been kind of coming right back up. So I like that play, Mike. And it seems like a lot of these, I guess, travel stocks, whether it's CCL or airlines or RCL, like all the cruise lines and airlines seem to be reacting positively to some of those uh, earnings coming out. So Good stuff with CCL there. You're talking about CCL. I'm going to go with CCJ again. This is the third day in a row that I've called out CCJ, and it's had some pretty nice moves every single day that we've looked at it. So uh, yesterday I called it out above like 2540 to 2550. Had a very nice break this morning. Ended up popping all the way up to 2620 after confirming off that level right at market open. So Pretty nice move with CCJ. If we can get above 26.20 tomorrow, the high of day today, I will watch it once again for another move up. I don't know what's up with these energy stocks, Mike, but CCJ's blasting. Even Zom and Oxy are kind of following all the other stocks in the market up. Uh-oh. Um, and then another stock I'm watching is Zoom. You guys know I talk about this stock all the time. Uh, Zoom actually had some really good price action today. And in the short term, they do have some pretty strong resistance right around like the 72 to $73 area. If it can break through that zone, I think Zoom has a lot of potential to rise uh, over the next couple days and weeks. But like I said, we, we, we really need a break between like that 72 to 73 area. And, you know, if we can, it can run. Yeah, I think that will be a, a really nice play. And I really love that Zoom has a lot of support bounces going on in the short term as well. It's almost like a perfect double bottom down here around 67.50. So I think the setup's awesome on Zoom. And as these growth stocks start to come up, Zoom is one of those plays that has honestly been staying very close to lows. So I think there's a lot of room on this specific stock. So keep it on the radar. Uh, Spy will be my next play, of course, Mike. I just can't discount SPY right now. With that big bounce on the daily chart, I think it's honestly worth looking at this even over some individual plays. So I'll definitely be watching the SPY, the S&P 500, even QQQ over the next few days could be awesome. But if we get above that huge 402 resistance that I talked about earlier in the video, I think this could end up being a tremendous possible breakout. And if this breaks out, I think a bunch of other stocks could push up like the ones we talked about, like Zoom, CCJ, but more specifically, even maybe some of the bank stocks and, you know, Microsoft and Apple might go on nice continuations too. Even Microsoft is at key resistance around 282. Yeah. All right. Well, with that being said, let's get right into the momentum plays for tomorrow. With the first one, we have NEO, NIO to the upside. Yeah, very nice continuation play today, Mike. I know we talked about this one a lot yesterday with Baba going up, and it was a very awesome play today. So go ahead and make this one break out above $10 even. We're about five cents away from there. All right, with the next one, we have Disney to the upside. 
DIS. I love this one today. Go ahead and make them break out above $97 even. That was actually the high last Thursday. All right. And with the last one, we have Amazon and we need both directions. Amazon. Yeah. A very nice close today. Up around recent resistance at 100. But you can see that they've actually been breaking out above 100 just a little bit. So if they break above 101, I'll watch for calls. But if they end up falling back under $100 even, then I'll watch for puts. That $100 level is pretty big psychologically. Yeah, exactly. So you guys heard, Tom, we have that downside level on Amazon for potential day trade down. We also have that upside level for potential day trade up. And then don't forget about Disney and NIO for potential day trades to the upside as well. But it is now time for the big money trade of the day. We had $1.22 million dollars go into the icui call options i bet not too many people have heard of that stock before but icui icu medical basically this is a medical technology company and someone's betting 1.22 million dollars that this stock is about to go to the upside they bought the 160 strike call options that expire on may 19th of 2023 um setups like this are setups that i actually like um this i guess you could say options chain is not very liquid so when you have someone dumping 1.2 million dollars into a trade like this um especially given this strike price and expiration um they don't do it by random chance and there's also it's also a lot easier to track um this is not like some hedge or anything like that um, so overall, I do like this setup. Um, the setup is pretty bullish as there's a giant support right around like that $150 level. Yeah, that support is humongous down there. And it's having a perfect bounce off of it right now. A fantastic recovery up. I am not surprised at all to see these people putting this much money or this institution putting this much money into this stock. I mean, that is an insane amount of money. $1.2 million dollars. And they have until May. I'm glad that it's not, you know, expiring in like a year or two years. So it seems like they're actually looking at this a little bit in the shorter term. And it's in the money right now, which means that there's a pretty low chance that they're shorting it, obviously, especially with the movement today. So I like this play. I will say, though, Mike, lately, you know, this stock's called ICU Medical. Lately, this stock needs to go to the ICU. So hopefully it ends up running back up here because it's been on a pretty brutal downtrend lately. But that support seems pretty good. True that. Yeah, so I'll definitely have a close eye on it over the next couple weeks and months. And if you guys are looking to get access to these multi-million dollar trades every single day, uh, check this out. So in our premium program, not only do you get access to our premium bot plays, like for example, uh, the sniper bot today called out Microsoft calls at $390 each. By the end of the day, they popped all the way up to highs of $465 each. Uh, it also had other setups throughout the day. If we go to the Bot Plays channel, uh, the hybrid bot called out Tesla put options at $345 each. They popped all the way up to $520 each. Sniperbot had another play with MRVL, alerted at 107, popped all the way up to 133. And they had another play with Alibaba, alerted at 405, popped all the way up to 470. So if you're looking to, to get access to our custom bots that you won't find anywhere else, uh, and the multi-million dollar trades that we talk about in each one of the nightly videos, among many other features, uh, Consider joining using the link in the description in the comments down below. It's ideal for short-term traders, and in the worst-case scenario, you can cancel at any time. So definitely check it out. It'll automatically save $41 off your first month. But with that being said, Tom, right now we're seeing some pretty good movement in the market. Uh, Intel is especially having a lot of momentum. Like I just said, you know, it's having its uh, best month in about uh, 22 years. So it's nothing to, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say, ignore. Uh, do you have any final thoughts or anything else you're watching for tomorrow? Yeah, Intel is doing fantastic. I love this down here. They've been bouncing off that key $25 support, which is, is the perfect low from back in 2015. There must be a bunch of buyers coming in at this level, obviously. It just keeps bouncing off that big support. So hopefully it holds and we keep getting this nice breakout coming out or coming in the short term. I will say, Mike, Apple had some pretty big news today. They announced a a uh, annual press conference uh nothing too crazy yet but it looks like they might be unveiling 
some headsets that could maybe rival uh, Meta's headsets. And looks like they're getting into augmented reality and a whole bunch of crazy stuff like that. Keep in mind, this is coming out June 5th through June 9th. So it's honestly nothing too crazy right now, but just mark that down on the calendar because we'll be talking about it a lot as those dates approach. There we go. And I also want to give a giant shout out to today's member of the day, Taylor and the Stocked Up Discord. You've been in the chat for over two years now and your activity has especially been increasing over the past week. So definitely make sure to keep it up and huge shout out to you. Again, if you guys are into short-term trading, definitely check out that first link in the description in the comments down below. And besides that, let's have an amazing end to the week.